when Naruto Shippuden started airing, the organization of Akatsuki was the main antagonist of the series. Every character seemed to be very intriguing in their own way, and I was very disappointed that their backstories got very little screen time. Because of that, I planned to do a video about stories of Akatsuki members one by one, and one of the most interesting characters from that organization for me, and a lot of people, was Kakazu, who in fact is the oldest known ninja in the series. He was 91 at the time of his death. I don't include Black Setsu because he was not really a ninja. Today I want to talk to you about Kakazu, his backstory, an encounter with the god of shinobi, Hashirama Senju. But before starting, I want to ask you all to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more. I hope all of you have a great day and let's start the video. Well, Kakazu was an S rank missing nin from Takigakure and a member of Akatsuki who was partnered with Hidan. Kisame Hoshigaki jokingly referred to them as the zombie combo due to the fact that in differing senses, they could not die. In his battle against Team Asuma and Kakashi, he said that the headbands off them reminded the very first hidden leaf ninja he had fought, and that the ninja was Hashirama Senju, given the fact that Hashirama's death happened off screen. This made a lot of people think that Kakazu is the one who killed Hashirama Senju, but that's incorrect. On September 9, 2008, the third Naruto data book was released, which covered the chapters from 245 to 402. This data book reveals a lot of interesting details about the series and its characters. We hear a lot of interesting things about Kakazu from this book, especially his backstory. According to this data book, when under the servitude of Takigakure as an elite ninja, Kakazu took on a mission to assassinate Hashirama Senju, the first Hokage. This mission, however, ended in failure against the god of Shinobi. Despite the insurmountable danger faced on the mission, what awaited his return to his village was the stigma and harsh punishment associated with the failure of his objective. In response to this treatment, a wrong levied against a shinobi who had put life and limb on the line for his village, Kakazu, came to hold a violent hatred for Takigakure as he escaped from imprisonment. In his flight from the village, Kakazu killed the village elders, took their hearts, and fled with knowledge of the village's most prized forbidden techniques. He made a living off bounty hunting on the black market and tearing out the still beating hearts of powerful shinobi to extend his own lifespan and arsenal. We can see that the data book clearly implies that Hashirama defeats Kakazu very easily. In fact, this defeat was the reason why Kakazu became the rogue ninja in the first place. I am very impressed that Kakazu even survived his battle against Hashirama, because when you think about it, the first Hokage is miles above him when it comes to power. He is the user of a lot of overpowered techniques such as summoning giant Buddha statue, which can overpower nine tails combined with Susano. He can also summon giant wood human technique, which can deflect entire tailed beast bomb with his bare hands. And let's not talk about advent of a world of flowering trees and wood dragon technique. Surviving the battle with Hashirama Senju when you are leagues below him is without a doubt a feat in itself especially after considering the fact that Kakazu was not immortal yet. But even with or without immortality, Kakazu still stood no chance against God of Shinobi. Hashirama should be able to one-shot him with minimal effort. I guess Kakazu was not fighting alone, and he was with his special squad. I think Hashirama slaughtered his whole squad very easily, and Kakazu barely escaped. Or maybe Hashirama let him escape. Which in fact is very in character for him to do, since we know how kind-hearted he really is. Despite being a lot weaker than Hashirama, Kakazu is still regarded as one of the strongest ninja who has ever lived. He was an extremely powerful ninja, earning membership into the S-rank organization of Akatsuki. During his frequent rages, he killed all but one of his partners in the organization, due to the latter being immortal. His skills were such that he was chosen by his village to assassinate Hashirama Senju, surviving the battle despite failing the mission. Kakazu's might is such that had it not been for the interference of Team Yamato, he would have likely killed Team Asuma. Kakazu was quite fast, able to cross great distances almost instantly and disappear from unfocused eyes. He could intercept Kakashi when he was attacking Hidan with his lightning cutter. His raw strength could catch one of Choji's in large punches with a single hand and easily overpower the latter, as well as lift two people up by their necks with relative ease. Kakazu was also adept in Taijutsu, able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against the Sharingan-wielding Kakashi. From all the assimilations he has conducted over the decades of his defeated foes, he has amassed a vast amount of chakra. Kakazu's fighting style and unique abilities revolved around the special nature of his body structure, 
which was composed of hundreds of thick grey tendrils woven throughout his flesh, called Earth Grudge Fear, holding his body together like the stitches of a rag doll. This lets him separate his body parts at will, perform mid to long range physical attacks and sew up almost any injury he suffered. The threads could also be used to repair the bodies of others, as seen when he reattached Daedara's arms. Because of his unique body structure, Kakazu is a highly enduring man, able to take a direct strike from Kakashi's lightning cutter without it hindering his performance. Skirmish with the first Hokage was not the only interesting thing Kakazu has done during his life. Interestingly enough, at some point he has met the Gold and Silver Brothers and witnessed King Kaku's Jinchuriki transformation. He says something very interesting according to him, King Kaku only transforms into his Jinchuriki mode when Ginkaku is eliminated, which makes me think that he could be the one who killed the brothers. We know that before joining the Akatsuki, he was a famous bounty hunter. King Kaku and Ginkaku were considered as the worst criminals in the history of Kumogakure. I am pretty sure that they would be listed in the bingo book and their heads would have a very big price. We know that after defecting from Takigakure, Kakazu became the rogue ninja. He was not affiliated with any other village and what if during the first Shinobi World War, during which he was alive and well, joined Kinkaku Force, which most likely was a criminal organization due to Kinkaku being a criminal by the time the team faced Tobirama. The reason why maybe he did that was to gain the trust of Kinkaku and Ginkaku to later catch them off guard and eliminate them. I don't think it's far-fetched to think that Kakazu could be the one who killed the brothers for their bounties. And that's how he knows about King Kaku's reaction on King Kaku's elimination. But the question arises, if Kakazu was strong enough to defeat the brothers, why did Toburama fail to do the same? Well, the main difference, I think, was that Kakazu caught the brothers off guard and easily overpowered them. We saw a lot of strong ninjas who were caught off guard in the past, while in their fight against Second Hokage, King Kaku and King Kaku had their whole unit with 18 highly skilled ninjas. We don't know how strong they were, but based on this, we can assume they were very strong. Sometime after this accident, he became affiliated with and joined the criminal organization Akatsuki. During his early years in Akatsuki, he had at least four partners that he eventually ended up killing due to his short temper and would come to use their hearts for his earth grudge fear. In the anime, he, Itachi and Conan were tasked with killing an apparent immortal who turned out to be Hidan. He managed to destroy one of Kakazu's hearts, taking an interest in his abilities. Akatsuki recruited Hidan instead. Kakazu was eventually paired with Hidan, who took an interest in Kakazu after thinking of him as a pioneer for immortality, despite a mutual dislike. He was deemed a fitting partner for Kakazu as he could not be killed because of his own similar immortality. Akatsuki has been one of the best things that has happened in Naruto, and I really like its concept and its members. What do you think about this video? Should I continue uploading videos about the backstory of Akatsuki members? Let me know in the comments. Like this video and subscribe to this channel for more. Astrojack out. Bye.